Hello everyone, and uh, if you guys have watched my sister location video on when I was doing the custom night, I can probably tell that a lot of you are very upset with me, and I am as well. I judged the game way too quickly. Um, now that I'm now that I've played it, and I've I'm surprised by how good I am at it because um I haven't been playing it, you know, like all the time but for the time that I have been playing it I've been playing it for like a few days now I think uh but I skipped playing it for like I've been playing it for okay I've been playing it for three two or three days but if we're talking about the entire thing probably like five days but I didn't play for two of those days so two or three days uh I have played that game and I am already at because I what I was doing is I was starting from easy to normal to hard then very hard and then I started going over to doing hard then very hard and and hopefully maybe I will get good enough to do very hard right away now the mini games well mini games uh, they they play play uh, the cutscenes I guess that look like mini games they're horrifying <laughs> Uh, but so far I've only seen up to Funtime Frenzy because I've completed, um, Angry Ballet on Very Hard, then I beat Freddy and Co. on Very Hard, and then I beat Funtime Frenzy? Is that the one that's after that? I think it is. Anyway, I have beaten all the way up to Funtime Frenzy on Very Hard. I just beat Funtime Frenzy on Very Hard, you know, not too long ago. It was, uh, actually, uh, earlier today, maybe... I don't, even, I don't even think it was an hour ago. Uh, so, you know, I beat it pretty recently on Very Hard. Uh, because I was having a bit of trouble with it. And I tried it, like, uh, I tried it two or three times on Very Hard and I couldn't get past it. Because I tried it on Easy and Normal. And it seemed ex really, really easy. It seemed really easy because it actually really is. It's actually extremely easy once you get the hang of it and you know how everyone works. Uh, then you can do it on Very Hard, which I did. Uh, thankfully, if you guys don't believe me, I can actually pull it up for you, which I'm going to do in a minute. But, um, now that I've played it for myself, and also now that I've seen other people play it as well, um, it's, it's really fun. It's a lot more fun than I was expecting. Um, the main reason, the main reason why I talked so badly about it is that it reused the same office. What I didn't realize at the time, and literally, right after I uploaded that video, I thought to myself, because I was watching it again to make sure that I didn't need to edit it, and I didn't. Um, and I, after I uploaded it, I thought to myself immediately, wait, why would there be a new office? There would be absolutely no reason for there to be a new office. Now, I do kind of dislike the idea of it being all the animatronics because I thought it would like continue the story but not have it continue the story you know what I mean it would be after all those events it would still be continuing but it wouldn't change the story in any way however it would tell you more about it because of these uh, cutscenes uh, I thought I didn't know there were cutscenes at the time though uh, so I am a little bit disappointed that they uh, didn't that they uh, reused those because though because all of the big animatronics have been scooped however I think it's actually a really cool idea because then again, it's not supposed to be following the storyline. So I guess I'm not downing on it at all because I've, gov I've given it a thumb down and a thumb up. Put them together and you get a thumb up. So I guess. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's how that would work. <laughs> or I could just give it nothing. <laughs> but I think, I think it's pretty good. I think it's a really cool idea. And also, the way all of these animatronics work is very, very cool. However, one one thing that I'm not excited for is Doll's Attack. I'm not excited for that at all. I'm so, so not looking forward to that. Uh, I think that he should update the Custom Night, though. Keep all of it the same, and except after the Golden Freddy option, it has Custom Custom Night. Where you get to choose your own levels. You know, you can have the presets and stuff, and that'll give you, you know, all four stars and all of them. But then the custom custom night will have no stars, but you can play it however you want and, you know, give Foxy tw level 20, Bitty Babs turned off, Electro Babs at, like, 3% or something like that. Where you can turn off animatronics as well, even to the point where you're playing, but you have to have at least three animatronics 
or three characters, I guess, because I don't, I don't think all of them are animatronics. Yendo, I'm pretty sure, because he's like a phantom, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I the jump scares have every single time I got jump scared, it got me. Like I always like jump and like take off my headphones, but it, it's not that scary at all. Like it's not scary whatsoever. It just it's obviously going to you know startle you and you know scare you I guess because you know there's a random thing jumping in your face and you don't know when it's coming obviously it's going to make you jump however it's it's not scary at all but to be fair I do have the volume down low enough down pretty low but I have it just loud enough for me to hear and be able to play the game because I'm able to hear I still have that surround sound feeling I'm able to hear Ballora walk around I'm able to hear which way Freddy's going because you're not what you don't do, what you do not do, is check and see where uh, Freddy is. Because once you start out the game, you can hear him going either to the right or to the left. For me, I have always heard him go to the right, to the right. But I am pretty sure he goes to the left as well. However, every time I've played with him, he's always gone to the right first. At least in a uh, fun time frenzy. At least in that. Because uh, I do remember sometimes he uh, was in the left one first for Freddy and Co. Uh, so yeah, I give the game two thumbs up. Uh, I'm actually really impressed with it now that I'm actually playing it. I know I doubted it, and I really said a lot of bad things about it, and like I want to kill myself just for saying those things because I haven't played it before time. But I couldn't play it. I couldn't play it because my recording software would make the entire thing lag. So yeah, but I have played the game. I have watched the game be played. And I am really, really excited to continue it. Because the game is really fun. And once you, you know, complete it, it doesn't make you feel like you should be shouting. Like, feeling like you feeling like you just completed Golden Freddy mode on Very Hard or something like that. It just makes you feel, you know, happy. Like, what I do when I finish the night and I hear, like, What a party, party pooper! And I hear him, uh, I always go, like, yes, finally. Or something like that. Or, like, yes, or something like that. And then... I just, like, continue about it. Like, it's not something to be too impressed about, even if you complete it on very hard. Because, in the end, it's probably not that hard. However, Doll's Attack, I can tell, is going to be... Whew! One big daisy. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a doozy. I can tell. Just because of all... The good thing about it is the fact that you don't have to use your doors at all. You have to use your vent, but you do not have to use your doors, which I'm very happy about and very excited about. Because... If I had to do that and check, like, pretty much, I have, you have to check three cameras for Doll's Attack. For the other ones, you have to check, uh, one, two, three, four, five. You have to check, like, five or six cameras. And that's going to waste a lot of power, so I have to, like, quickly maneuver around those. And I know for a fact that I am not going to be able to do that, which is why I don't think I'm even going to attempt Golden Freddy mode, even on easy, because I can, cannot go with every single animatronics rules. I cannot go with those because the game is still really laggy. Well, not really laggy, and it's not laggy at all, actually. But for me, the game is a little slow, and just that little tiny bit of slowness really kicks it off. You really have to have a really good computer and you really have to make sure that it's going really fast so that you are able to do that because you need skill instinct and speed the three things that you are going to need to complete all of the custom nights and I have some of those I have the skill because I'm actually pretty good at it apparently I mean that can ch again I say this all the time that can change very very quickly but Right now, I'm actually doing pretty good. I haven't been jump scared that much. I'm doing actually really good. Funtime Frenzy was so far the hardest one, obviously, because uh, the last one I did. But I actually am feeling pretty confident. I feel like maybe I can do all of them except for Golden Freddy mode, obviously, because that's just going to be too difficult. Having to check all those cameras and still listen for Funtime Freddy and Ballora, for me, it's going to be impossible. Oh, God. Uh, one time, I was actually, uh, actually, I'll t tell you that in a minute, but, uh, Mark, it takes Markiplier hours and hours of, um, time. It takes him hours and hours just to complete these nights, but he does it all in one day. He takes some breaks, but he does it all in one day. He has never failed to complete an entire Finance of Freddy's game, maybe until now, 
Maybe he won't be able to do it. Maybe he will. I'm rooting for him. I'm pretty sure he will be able to do it. As long as he gives it enough tries, I'm pretty sure he can do it. However, I am, I'm like 86.03% positive, positive that he will need to play it on easy and then gradually work his way up. Because he's going to need some practice, and trying out on very hard first isn't really going to give him that practice. Actually, uh, something that I've been thinking about is that maybe it will. Maybe that will give him the practice, because if you start off too easy, then when you work your way up, you expect something easy, but it the the difficulty changes so quick because all these animatronics are going to be just as difficult no matter what level they're at. They will not attack you. Well, actually, I guess that's kind of a lie. Uh, they're not going to be any more dangerous than they would be normally. Their danger level and their difficulty level does not go up. However, the only thing that... Um, the numbers represent like their levels the only thing that those represent is how quickly he and how persistent they will be how like if you have funtime freddy on uh... twenty on level twenty oh god i don't like him on twenty <laughs> however he's not that bad as long as you as long as you can listen i actually messed up once on because i was trying on hard and not very hard because again i was practicing just to make sure um, I could do it, and on very hard, every single time he, well, most of the, pretty much all the time that he attacks, he always moves to the next side. I thought it was always, even on hard mode, so I, I heard a thunking, at, you know, after I opened the door and I heard Bonnie's thunk, I heard another thunking, and I thought that was the footsteps. It wasn't, and I got jump scared by uh, Bonnie. Because I was on the wrong side. Because what I do is I do what Markiplier does. Uh, once you know what side he's on, move your cursor over to that side of the screen. And then what I do is I look at my oxygen. I press S and press S again because I use the shortcuts. And then I look at my oxygen. And if it's going down gradually, I know that uh, Yendo is there. So then I need to bring up my camera and put it back down again. And then I can see a lol bit in the corner of my eye. I can see him, so that's how I know that. And then when I hear him, I go over to the right side of the screen, and then I don't have to worry about checking my oxygen because every single thing you can see from the right side. You can see Yendo, and you can see lol bit pretty easily. You don't need to look at the doors at all, though. So that's why I never look at the doors. I only look at the oxygen and the cameras. Uh, and also lol bit because sometimes I kind of mess up and don't see him in the corner of my eye, but I have figured out that he, he um. Lolbit will never kill you. Lolbit does not kill you, and he is not, he or she, it is not harmful towards you. However, Lolbit will provide audio and visual distractions if you let him get on all three screens and stay there for a few seconds. He will say, please stand by, and then have a picture of Lolbit in there, and then make a lot of loud noises, and then you have to click lol to make him go away. Uh, Lolbit is actually pretty easy, but I have a feeling it's not going to be so easy on 20 mode. Uh, so I'm, I am 100% positive I will never be able to do Golden Freddy mode 1020 mode. Golden Freddy 1020 mode. I am absolutely positive I will never be able to do that no matter how many hours or days I put into it. Just so you know, I'm not putting hours or days into it. <laughs> no, because that, I'm not, I'm persistent, I'm a very persistent child, but I'm not that persistent. No, and hooray for Mark for being able to dedicate that many hours to scarring his life for playing Five Nights at Freddy's for hours on end. <laughs> so yeah, good Mark. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I have been talking for way too long. But anyway, uh, just in case you don't believe me about my scores, I'm actually going to switch over and open up Five Nights at Freddy's right now. I need to switch my audio quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go. Did it switch? I'm not sure if it switched. It did. Okay. I, uh, I don't have my headphones on right now. I mean, they're plugged in, but I'm not. I'm not wearing them. Uh, why is it not loading? There we go. Okay. Gameplay with webcam. Okay. Here we go. So we have this here, and we're gonna go over to custom night. And uh, here, as you can see, uh, Jesus, Christ, what is happening with my mouse? Holy crap. Do you see that? I'm barely pushing it and it's like moving all the way around the screen. What is happening? 
Obviously, my recording software does not like the idea of me. Uh, what's happening? Jesus Christ Almighty! Anyway, as you can see, Angry Ballet is completed on very hard. I completed that, and it's actually really, really easy. I could have done that on very hard on my first try. Uh, and then I did Freddy and Co. Funtime Frenzy, and then and now I have to do Dolls Attack. I am not looking forward to it whatsoever. I mean, they're all kind of easy. It's the fact that I have to check so many cameras at once. I have to check all these cameras, and also on very hard, I'm going to get oxygen and power being drained. And also, on Funtime Frenzy, I survived with 3% power on very hard. 3% power, so I can only imagine what it's going to be like with Electro Bath. But at least I don't have to, you know, close my door and wait for someone to thunk it. Because I'm not that good for it to be able to say, Bun Bun, go get him! And then close it immediately when he's gonna close, when he's gonna hit, you know, donk on the door or whatever. I'm not that good. So I close it right when Freddy speaks, just to make sure that I don't miss anything. And just to make sure that I don't forget that Bon Bon is coming. So that is, that is his official name, by the way. That's not his nickname. Uh, there's Bonnet, but that's not the official Bon Bon. Bon Bon is the actual puppet on Fred's hand. Uh, so, yeah. I'm not that good, and I'm not that good with surprises or anything. Uh, especially not with Foxy. Once I see him leave his curtain, close the door immediately and just wait for him to go. And then open it again. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that's why I waste a lot of power, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to survive with a lot more power if I ever survive this. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to use a lot less power uh, than I did with Funtime Frenzy because I don't need to just shut the doors. All I need to do is shut the vents, and I don't. And I feel like I don't have to do that too often. Uh, however, I have absolutely no idea what the Bitty Bab sound cue is. Just so you guys aren't listening to this music while I'm trying to talk, yeah. So I'm pretty sure these, yeah, these Bitty Bab. Uh, Okay, my mouth's glitching now considering that I am I have my uh, OBS running right now because I alt tap to it. So yeah, it's kind of glitching now. But the Bitty Babs, the, oh my god. So I have now realized whenever I point at Bitty Babs, you, it looks like I'm punching you in the face. I'm sorry about that. But the Bitty Babs, uh, I don't know the sound cue for those. I do not know the sound cue. I'm pretty sure it's vent noises, but I, I'm not sure. The Electro Babs, all I have to do is look at my power. Uh, the only thing that's going to be a real issue is Bonnet, because uh, Bonnet is just like Yendo. You have to pay attention to the office. If Bonnet, if Bonnet wasn't there, it'd be a lot easier. Bonnet is not a difficulty whatsoever, except for the fact, except for the fact that you have to focus on the office now, instead of just staying there, and then always being able to look at your oxygen power. Because if he wasn't there, I'd just go like this, and always look for those and then click 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 and then always look at them but now I actually have to pay attention but I guess I can still do that because Bonnet does make a distinct noise he giggles and no other animatronic giggles you know except for the mini arenas twos yeah it is a mini arena, mini arena too I was gonna mess that up that was the wrong side <laughs> anyway um that probably sounded terrible anyway so mini arenas um, will lower my oxygen supply. Uh, many Rans 2 will block my vision, and they do giggle. Uh, same thing with Bonnet, but Bonnet sounds distinctly different from theirs, and also I'll be able to see them. Be able to see them giggling. Um, uh, many Rans. So, I'm, I feel like I might be able to get away with only looking at my power and oxygen. Maybe. But the fact that oxygen is a thing now is actually pretty cool because a lot of fan games have used oxygen, but never in an official. Uh, I was about to say FNAF game. Fan game. I was about to say fan game. It's never been an official FNAF game. Or Five Nights at Freddy's, whatever you want to call it. It's never been an official Five Nights at Freddy's game. Even though this isn't an official Five Nights at Freddy's game, it's a thing on its own. In my opinion, at least. What do you guys think? Put in the comments below! <laughs> uh, I... I have no idea what Scott intended. I'm not sure... If he wanted this to be his sister location, or if he wanted it to be FNAF's sister location. Because it says sister location on this. However, it says Five Nights at Freddy's sister location on the desktop. So, I have no idea what he actually intended. But, I feel like it's a thing on its own. In my opinion, 
like chocolate and candy. I feel like candy is a totally different thing than chocolate. Again, yell at me in the comments if you want to. I don't care. It's my opinion, and I feel like it's pretty right. Because uh, candy is supposed to be like a sweet, fruity type thing. It doesn't always have to be fruity, but it's like a sweet thing. And chocolate's more of like a rich, dark thing. I don't know. You know what I mean. Maybe that can be another debate on <laughs> What's the debate on? I have. <laughs> I think I made up a word. <laughs> oh god! I feel like I've heard that somewhere. Debate on? Is that is that a thing? I don't know. That's just the first thing that came to. That's a, just the first thing that came to mind. So I decided to say it. Maybe that can be another debate. Maybe I can make an entire video. What What do you think chocolate is? Do you think it's a candy or do you think think it's a thing on its own? What do you think? <laughs> wow, I'm getting off topic. Anyway, so... Dolls Attack. It's gonna be difficult. I'm going to try it on hard first. Uh, maybe it, if it's uh, easy enough, then I'll try... Whoa, what's after this? Then I'll try Girls Night on very hard, and I'll start off with that. Uh, however, I'm not really sure... I think Girls' Night actually might be easier. Because now you don't have anything draining your power. But you do have Foxy. And you have Ballora. I feel like that's a lot worse than having Foxy and Freddy. I feel I feel like. I feel like that's a lot worse than just having Freddy. Because with Ballora you have to listen. And also, Ballora can stay there for quite a while. She's a bit of a dick. Uh, however, Funtime Freddy and Bon Bon... He only hits the door and then it runs immediately back. Thank God. Um, so I think that's definitely going to be a challenge. And the fact that I have the both of the mini arenas. Uh, and I have Bonnet. Uh, mini arenas 2 and Bonnet. Those are going to be a pain. A pain to do together. Because it's going to be difficult to find his nose. However, I have learned that it's not just his nose. It's pretty much almost his entire face. <laughs> Because I know a lot of times where I have not clicked his nose, and yet it counted, so. Good job, Scott. <laughs> you made your games a lot easier for me. Uh, I do not like Bonnet, though, because I actually... The only thing that I think is good about him is the fact that he's pretty slow when he walks around, when he walks across the screen. That's definitely something that's gonna, that makes it a lot more possible, and that's definitely makes it a lot easier. Uh... Because I thought, I didn't even know I was going to I was gonna be in an office until I heard, like, security doors and stuff. Uh, I thought I was going to be in some new place and I was going to be able to, like, look at the floor. And he was going to be, like, running all over the place. But no, now he just goes like this. Yeah, pretty slowly, thankfully. I f but all of these are definitely possible. However, Scott himself actually said that Golden Freddy 20... 1020 mode. I'm just going to call it 1020 mode because I keep forgetting the name. That 1020 mode is impossible. He has that himself. He's never said it for any of the other games though, which is making which is making me doubt Mark's abilities just a little bit because before he said that he could never beat it. He never said that it was actually impossible. Now he's saying it's impossible and it could be. He could have actually made it impossible because I mean, he would be the one to know. He would be the only one to know because he can actually look in the coding. Well, actually, I guess anyone can. But he made the game. He knows the coding. He can look into the coding. So I'm pretty sure, like, he would be the one to know if it were impossible or not. However, there have been a lot of lucky situations, and I feel like the only thing that will get you past 1020 mode, the only thing, well, skill, speed, and reflexes, definitely, but I feel like once you complete all of these other uh, presets, you have all those. You have all of those in your blood, in your system. You're hyped and you're ready to do Golden Freddy 1020 mode. However, the one thing that you're really going to need, as long as you've done all the other ones, is luck. The only thing that's going to get you past that, as long as you have completed all the other ones, is luck. The only thing, because that's the only thing that helped Mark. He's the only thing that helped him was lucky situations, and that's the only thing that helps you with any of these nights. Lucky situations. However, 
It depends on how lucky you have to be, because some of them you can do with skill and a little bit of luck, because it's up to random chance. With every single one of these, none of these characters have a particular pattern. I mean, they do, but they don't have a pattern where, like, they'll go here and then immediately here, and then where you can, like, time stuff and stuff like that. It's always random. There's no, n there's no way of knowing where they're going to be because it's all random. And I feel like that's really cool, the fact they're able to make something random in a game because it feels like you would have to make them go in a certain place because uh, of coding and all that kind of stuff. Because I've coded a game. It's not an official game, and it's, it's a Flash game. And it may, be, it may have been on Scratch. But you know what? It's actually pretty dang close to coding in, uh, in real life. Because I have a friend who codes a lot. And he actually made a lot of professional. I'm not exactly sure. I've never actually seen any of his games. But, I mean, I believe him. And he said that uh, it's actually pretty close to Scratch. There's just like a few more things I have to do. It costs a lot more money. And it's a bit more complicated, complicated. But it feels like you would have to make him go a specific place. I don't know, it's just a bit weird to me. Uh, but anyway, uh, so yeah, it's really cool the fact that they can be randomized. Uh, so yeah, that's why the only thing they'll get you out of there is luck. Even if you don't have skill or any of those things, as long as you have a good bit of luck with you, you're safe. Because um, you're really going to need luck with this because sometimes it can be actually impossible. Sometimes it can be impossible because, like I said, it's all random. And, and if too many people do too many things at once, there will be no physical or actually possible way to complete that night. Which is why there's always the option of retrying. If you retry, hopefully you'll get lucky. And hopefully you'll have an, a better chance of winning and surviving. So, yeah, that's, that's basically how all of the Finance of Freddy's games work. A lot of people say... He complete 10 20 mode of uh, 20 20 20 20 mode and all the other 20 modes out there. He must be amazing. Or he just has a bunch of luck. It could be both because I have seen uh, how good he is. Uh, now, back to the thing that I was saying I was going to save for later. Um, I actually live streamed me playing Finance of Freddy's 2. Uh, there are only a few people watching, but uh, I had a comment saying, Geez, you're better than Markiplier. You know, I was like, thanks. I didn't believe it because he is the king of Francis and Freddy! And I'm just a little boy. But, I don't know. I personally don't believe it, but, you know, apparently he did. And, you know, I appreciate that. Still don't believe it, but, you know, hey, maybe I can follow in his footsteps. <laughs> Probably not. But, anyway... Uh, yeah, and I, because I did actually come, the thing that's surprising is how long it took Mark to get past not only all of the nights, but the first night. And, uh, I've told you this in the past, I have actually completed all of the nights on Five Nights of Freddy's 2, all of the first five nights on Five Nights of Freddy's 2, I've completed on my first try. I was so glad. I was like screaming of joy. <laughs> and I actually cannot believe it did it. <laughs> oh wow, I love that. <laughs> but the thing is, that's actually the easiest Five Nights at Freddy's game in my opinion. Uh sure it has a lot more animatronics, but as long as you get the good rhythm, uh you're good to go. I have not completed the sixth or seventh night on Five Nights at Freddy's 2. But, I was going to play the first five, and that is Gold Finds of Freddy, so I think I'm I think I'm think still good at it. Right? <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, and I was actually, that was so nice to hear. Like, somebody saying I'm better than Markiplier. Maybe I am at Finds of Freddy's, too, um, but until I have to do 1020 mode. It's a possibility, however, again, like I said, I don't believe it. Uh, but I've been wrong in my a lot of my cases, but I feel like I'm pretty confident that I'm not wrong. But, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, also, in case you haven't noticed, I don't plan videos out before I make them. Well, I plan them out, but I don't plan out what to say. <laughs> uh, so yeah. 
I'm pretty sure it's obvious. <laughs> so, I feel like the overall question, is it worth getting Sister Location? Yes. Is it worth getting it for just the Custom Night? No. Because if you're looking to just play the Custom Night, Sister Location is not for you. Because you're going to have to do a lot of hard work to get to the Custom Night. Unless you want to cheat. I mean, you can always do that. Um, but... It's going to take a lot of hard work if you don't want to cheat to the game, in the game at all. It's going to take you a lot of hard work and a lot of time. And the thing that I feel like you should be updated about the real game is being able to skip cutscenes or, like, skip dialogue. Because it takes up so much time and it's so annoying when you die. You have to listen through all that again. It's so annoying. So, Scott, if you're watching this video, I know you're not, but if you are... <laughs> somehow through the elements of space and time if you're watching this I feel like you should update your game about that now I'm not sure if that's possible uh, I know it's possible to do that you know normally but I'm not sure if you're able to do that with an update I'm I'm pretty sure you are uh, but if you can't please let us know but if you can do it please get to work on that because I would really I feel like everyone that has ever played sister location would appreciate that so yeah if, Scott, if you're getting this message, or getting this message by anyone else, or having someone else tell you this, saying it in their own words, or not even seeing this video at all, just say, telling you from their deep in their heart, please, update the game for that. <laughs> because, I mean, it doesn't really matter to me, because I've already completed the game, but, yeah, in case I ever want to restart, because, yeah, I have thought that in a while, and I want to see if I can, you know, do it again, maybe, or something. It'd be a lot better if I could skip the cutscene so I could get on with it quicker. And also for the people that haven't completed it yet, it'll be a lot easier for them. Just saying. But then again... Okay. Then again, you are the creator of a really good storyline. A lot of people would argue that Finds of Freddy sucks. The games, in my opinion, aren't nearly at... Aren't nearly at what you're looking for in the series. For me, I, I do like the games. They are really enjoyable. Sometimes they can get, you know, a bit annoying. They can get a bit repetitive. Uh, but, you know, when you're going through it and you haven't played it for, you know, a day or two, and, you know, if you feel like you're getting a new, fresh start, uh, it definitely is a fun experience. And I do really like all of the Finance of Freddy's games. All of them, no matter how scary, no matter how loud, and no matter heartbreaking. Actually, sometimes, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if someone has had an actual heart attack and died because of playing this game. I wouldn't be surprised at all. However, and I do feel really sad for the people that have done that, but it doesn't surprise me. Just saying. Wow, that sounded really bad. <laughs> that sounded a lot worse than it was. Uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't take that the wrong way. I do actually feel sad for them and stuff. I just... It just doesn't surprise me. You know what I mean. I'm still a nice guy, I think. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, no matter how scary, I still enjoyed all of the games. However, they're not the main reason that I play them, and I feel like they're not the real reason for the series of Finals of Freddy's. I feel like the real reason that all these games exist is... One, to test how your skill, reflexes, and instinct, uh, and see how good your luck is. Uh, but I feel like the main reason people come in, and the main reason why I come in to play these games, is because of the storyline. I feel like the storyline is the best part of Finance of Freddy's. A lot of people would argue the games are the best, a lot of people would argue that the storyline is the best, a lot of people would say the entire thing of Finance of Freddy's is stupid, and... Sometimes, I agree. Well, not, the storyline has absolutely no flaws in it. The only flaw that I find ever in the storyline is the fact that he ends it too quickly. <laughs> and we have to wait another few months for a new one. Uh, that's the only flaw I see with the storyline, but I don't, I don't see how any more story could be inputted into any of these games. Especially Sister Location. Especially Sister Location. Uh, but, yeah, uh, sometimes I do agree, the games can be a bit dumb and stupid, and even at some points bad, 
but the storyline always keeps its keeps its bond rock solid and makes the games great and enjoyable for everyone and even children apparently uh because you would not like three and three to four year olds play this game and talk about it oi I mean, I get it. I'm a child, and I shouldn't be into horror stuff, but I feel like that's a bit young. <laughs> uh, but I do feel really glad that I was the one that actually brought around anything about Five, Five Nights at Freddy's in my uh, elementary school rant. I was literally the only one that has ever talked about it or seen it in the entire school, and I actually made the entire school obsessed with it just because I told one person, and I told another person, and it just kept on spreading like a disease. The Now the entire school was corrupted. <laughs> With the virus called addiction. <laughs> Literally, it was getting annoying at some bits. But I still claim that I am the king of Five Nights at Freddy's. Besides Mark. <laughs> I am the second king of Five Nights at Freddy's. Not because of skill. But because I know, I know more than anyone in any school probably around the world. I yeah, cause you not believe how, how much I, <laughs> you not believe how many brain cells I have given up to research, and everything. Like I I listen to songs, I look at animations, I watch gameplay, I look I actually look up stuff like on Google, and I watch other people's theories to make my own giant theory. Which I won't be telling you because that'll take probably over a few hours. Or at least one hour. So, yeah. I feel like I gotta stop this episode here before it gets too long. Although I could keep talking about a bunch of stuff, you know, for a long time. Is there anything else that I want to say first? I don't, I don't feel like there is. And if there is, I'll talk about it in the next video. Uh, and again, for anyone that's... For anyone that still doesn't realize, and for people that still haven't watched my other videos, the reason why I'm not uploading that much is because there's not really much I can record for uh, different reasons. One, because I don't have them. Two, I can't afford them at all. Like a lot of people say, play this, play this, especially my friend Sori. He's, he suggests me a lot of really good games that I would actually really enjoy to play, and I would really love to play them. However, I got lucky just getting this game. And this game was like $7? $6, I think? And I was lucky just to get this. So, yeah. I can't, you know, just ask for a game and get it. I have to wait, either wait a little bit, or wait until Christmas or my birthday to get a game. Uh, sometimes I can get a game. Sometimes I can't. Most of the time I can't. But, then again... I'm not rich. In fact, I'm a lot less than an average person money-wise. I think we're in debt, actually. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. That's why I haven't been uploading. And also because my computer, I have actually learned that it's actually a pretty bad computer. Which is very surprising. And I was surprised to figure it out myself and actually pretty devastated. But apparently, I have a bad computer. Like, apparently, this baby isn't even average. Apparently. So, um, yeah, like, pretty much everything in it has to be upgraded. I'm not sure about, you know, upgrading the hard drive. Because I'm scared that will take away everything in my computer, like all my files and everything. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to upgrade that. But if I get, ever get the money, I will hopefully be able to upgrade this baby. And, you know, because I definitely need a new processor. Uh, and if it's able to fit more than one processor, I need to get as many processor, processors as I can, and also the biggest ones I can that fit. Because, uh, yeah, apparently this thing's actually pretty bad of a computer. I am very sorry to say, and I, it devastates me to say, but I, apparently, apparently it is. And that's why a bunch of stuff lags even when I'm not recording. Uh... It's very strange and very weird. And I'm actually very, very upset and devastated about learning this. But why am I still on there? Go over to webcam. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit sad to hear. Um, and Because what I originally thought is that there was a gaming PC and then a recording PC. A PC that's meant to record high quality games and stuff. 
Nope. Uh, in fact, I don't. I'm not sure if this is actually a super PC at all. I'm not sure. I I'm pretty sure it is, but even even if it's a supercomputer, it doesn't necessarily mean it's good. However, it does get the job done, and I still have a lot of fun on it. Like you would not believe how much time I spend a day just playing on this thing. Uh, it's definitely probably my favorite console. Technically, it's not a console. It's, it's a PC. The PC is a thing on its own. My favorite console, I don't know. Because there are a lot of games that are just for uh, PS4, and there are less games that are just for Xbox. Um, but I feel like the controller, like before, like years and years ago, I thought that the PlayStation controller was absolute madness. Having the thumbsticks in the same place, not like this. Or like this, not like this, like this. It was absolute madness to me. And the fact that they weren't letters, they were like symbols, that was weird. And I didn't like it, but now I feel like it's a lot more comfortable than the Xbox controller. By a long shot. And I feel like it, I'm pretty sure the Xbox here uh, runs a lot better. I'm pretty sure anyway. But that game, but that system has a lot of really good things. At the time, for for my personal consoles and the games that I have on them, I have to say that I like Xbox better. But if I had a lot more games and a lot and a lot bigger of a variety of games for my PlayStation, I would probably definitely like that a lot more. Anyway, I've been getting off topic way too many times, and this video is going on for almost an hour. I need to stop. So thank you all. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, then punch that like button, slap that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. As you can see, I'm, I'm tired and I haven't done so well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, then punch that like button, slap that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next episode. See ya!